Help yourself. This middle school classroom <laughs> is full of young minds. Yeah, it's a blood That's cell. Crazy. With huge potential. It's highly technological. <laughs> 11 students working together. Does it look like an SO2 sensor? To send a handful of science experiments into space. Come on in. They're led by planetary scientist and open window teacher Trudy Hugenboom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who says NASA's student tech rise competition that these kids just won is out of this world. It gives you the ability to design your own experiments, think up, dream up anything that you like, build the instrument, have it flown on either a stratospheric balloon or a rocket lander, and then have it land and get the data to you know do real science on. The students first brainstormed seven different experiments they'd want to conduct in space. From our sulfur dioxide data, we can um, approximate mercury in the atmosphere. We're sending tardigrades up to see the differences between the control groups here and what we sent up. I wanted to see the difference between radiation levels on the ground and in the sky. They have to fit all of the necessary tools needed for these tests into one small box. I'm working on our 3D model of the experiment. That's also designed by them. For example, you can see the sensors and the chips all in this model so we can have a nice visualization of what um, the experiment box will look like. Then they actually build that box, soldering all the pieces together. Then send it to NASA to launch into space and gather their data. Connor coded it so that they send the results back to our um, computers that we have here and then we'll um, assess them and compare them to levels that like we can find here on like Earth. They're not sure what they'll discover with these tests, but for these students, it might be more about the path to get there. It's just really exciting than what's uncovered, especially being like sixth grade and eighth yeah. grade, just doing it like at this age. Pretty cool. Leah Pizzetti, King 5 News. So the students do have to finish the box. They'll virtually present it to NASA on May 16th. It's expected to be sent to space this summer. The students say they'll be hosting a watch party to see how it all unfolds.